How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com, connect on Wednesday, June the 5th, as we get this video to you. Every round this time, have your free pick winner in just a second here. Your free pick winner today is going to be in baseball. It's going to be in baseball uh, between Minnesota and the Yankees in just a second. Have uh, six free plays for you today. And uh, the first one is obviously our free play. The rest are our leans. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy, the algorithm of Indian Cowboy, have been around for a cool 19 years. And Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my free daily podcast. Our best selections over at DocSports.com. Under Rune Shiva or Indian Cowboy, our next best selections are Free Picks and Leans, which is the daily video that you are watching right now. If you can't get enough of us, we have a popular YouTube premium teaching channel where we come at you four days a week, usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, at 9 o'clock for $20 a month, where we teach you how to do your own algorithms. You get the first look on the next day's ball games, which is a massive advantage because you get a 12-hour head start before anybody else. Uh, so you get the best lines. And uh, you get 160 games for just $20 a month. Probably one of the best deals on the internet there. And, and I give you a one-minute summary at the end um, of, of all the leans. In case you don't have time to whole, watch the whole thing, not to mention it's a recorded podcast, you can re-listen to it anytime. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comment section, as well as the link to how to get a free $60 of their premium selections. If you want more content, be sure to check my Twitter. It has our latest updates, hot takes on sports, popular consensus reports, and our latest videos are posted there. All right, what do I need to tell you? Well, we have a seven-unit WNB selection tonight at 8 o'clock. We come off a nice six-unit WNBA winner yesterday on the Chicago Sky and New York Liberty Under. I uh, ought uh, to mention on baseball, back-to-back -back winners as we gave you the Orioles over yesterday, which won on Tuesday. We gave you the Detroit Tigers on Monday, which also won. 12-4 and four run in baseball now for plus 3,400. We're looking to try to make it uh, a 13-4 and four run today, including back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back baseball winners. So hopefully you'll join us for baseball. Hopefully you'll join us for the WNBA. Uh, the NBA resumes on Thursday, uh, which is tomorrow. We're plus 2,800 in the NBA playoffs so far. In the NHL playoffs, we're plus 4,100 so far, or plus 4,100 run in the NHL playoffs. A uh, nice 7-3 run over there in soccer. And so a WNBA, obviously a 4-1 run as well. And MMA, incredible, plus 5,200 so far. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. And I like the Twins plus the one and a half today, okay? So I like Minnesota plus the one and a half over the New York Yankees today. First of all, getting a run and a half on a game that's total at eight and a half is nice because that's basically, what, 15 over 85? So you're getting, um, you know, you're, you're getting about 18% of the run total before the game starts. Minnesota lost 1-5 to five in their last game, and they can clearly bounce back. Uh, they did take 2-3 from Houston. Texas is off back-to-back -back losses now uh, as well. You know, you have a 1-2. and two, You have the Yankees who roll in, by the way. Let me check something on the Yankees real fast. You have the Yankees who are rolling in. Yeah, who come off 1-2-3. They have come off six straight wins, right, including the 5-1 to one win yesterday. So I like the fact the Yankees having a little bit of a letdown. I like Minnesota coming off back-to-back uh, -back losses. I'm sorry, Minnesota coming off that 1-5 to five loss. Um, you get Paddock and Rodon here. Paddock has a 4.57 ERA. He went five innings, five hits, four runs against the Royals, 5-4-2 against Texas. He comes off a near-season high in runs at four. Rodon here had a 3.09 ERA, six innings, three hits, three runs against the Angels, six innings, three hits, no runs against the Padres, 6-4-2 against the White Sox. The thing about Rodon is whenever he has faced more competent offenses, that he has a tendency to struggle. When he faces sub-500 teams, he dominates. When he faces above 500 teams, he has a tendency to struggle. So given the fact the Twins come off of a loss, they get a pitcher who's on a bounce back, and Rodon struggles against teams that have uh, above 500 records, I'm going to go with the Twins plus the one and a half today, which means if the Twins win or if the Twins lose by one run, uh, or if the Twins lose by one run, that's a win. White Sox and Cubs, I like the White Sox plus the one and a half. White Sox put up six runs yesterday. This team is raising eyebrows, losing 11 in a row. Eric Fetty here, he's the bright spot for this team. 3.12 ERA, same pitcher that went six innings, three hits, no runs against Baltimore. 7-3-0, seven innings, three hits, no runs against Washington. Six innings, six hits, no runs against Cleveland. Fetty went five innings, nine hits, four runs against the Brewers. Four walks in his last game, horrible start. He will bounce back today. Tyon went 6-6-3 against the Brewers, 5-9-3 against the Cards, 4-6-3 against Pittsburgh. I honestly think Tyon is not in great form here, and I like Eric Fetty and the White Sox to get it done today. I'll take them plus the one and a half. Remember, White Sox only lost by a run yesterday. Minnesota and Los Angeles in the WNBA. In the W, uh, I like Minnesota here. Keeping it simple, Minnesota 6-2. They're facing a 2-6 LA team. People give Indiana a lot of flack because they think Indiana only has two wins. 
LA only has two wins too, and they had a couple of top draft picks. Minnesota has won five in a row coming into the series. Minnesota beat Atlanta on the road, huge win, and have beaten Dallas as well, including Phoenix and Atlanta and New York on the road, which is tough to do. LA got beat badly in the Commissioner's Cup by uh, Phoenix. Certainly they can bounce back. Um, having said that, I don't think LA is going to step up here necessarily. Minnesota loves to play in LA. Minnesota has won this game several contests in a row. And uh, Minnesota has beaten some really good teams by double digits on the road. So I think they can beat L.A. by the same margin. Lean on Minnesota. Baltimore and Toronto. I like Toronto here. Baltimore's 39 and 20 winners of back-to-back games. It is odd to see Baltimore as an underdog. Toronto comes off back-to-back losses here, including 1-10 to in their last game. Suarez and Berrios here. Suarez, five innings, four hits, one run against Tampa Bay. Four innings, two runs against White Sox. Suarez, 1.57 ERA. Barrios here, 278, 76, uh, 278ERA. He went seven innings, six hits, and one runs against Pittsburgh. He went seven innings, three hits, and two runs, and beat Baltimore earlier. And uh, Suarez is still a relief pitcher at the end of the day. Even though Barrios has beaten the Orioles twice, his team needs him here. Um, and losing 1-10 to in his last game, too. Toronto losing badly in their last game. I'm going to go with Toronto here. Uh, Dallas, I'm sorry, Detroit and Texas in baseball. I'm going to go with Texas here. Detroit's won this game back-to-back games. I lean on Detroit both those games. Detroit's won three in a row. They're above 500. Detroit has lost back-to-back games here. They put up one run in back-to-back games. Um, you know, they need to bounce back here. Maida and Oringa here. Maida has been sketch. He's had back-to-back sketch starts for Detroit. I think he shows he could show up today. He, six innings, 13 hits, 12 runs, and five walks in his last couple games. Just terrible. He's given up 18 base runners in six innings. Urena had a really tough start at Miami, but that's not his fault considering that he used to pitch in Miami, so they know how he pitches. I know both teams are on the bounce, uh, both pitchers are on the bounce back here, but Urena is far more consistent, and Texas is off back to back one run games. Give me Tejas here. Um, as far as San Diego and the Angels are concerned, I lean on the under there. Padres have lost three straight coming in, they are 500. Angels have. Um, you know, have magically won back-to-back games all of a sudden, first time since the middle of May. Uh, you have, you know, uh, Soriano and uh, Dylan Cease here. Still, Dylan went five innings, five hits, three runs against the Royals. Six innings, eight hits, four runs against the Yankees. Four innings, nine hits, five runs against Atlanta. Soriano here went six innings, seven hits, four runs against the Mariners. Six, four, four against Cleveland. He went seven, five, and one against Texas. I think both these guys need to bounce back in a big way, so the under does make sense here as well. That is what I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow if you want to support the channel. Be sure to buy our premium packages. Join our YouTube premium as well, where you get to hang out with me four nights a week, including tonight. And, uh, and I missed the show on Tuesday, so I'll be doing one extra one on Friday. So that's why I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in case I miss one. I can pop one out on Friday. So hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Please like and subscribe.